are you and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Chacho Show. We're glad you could join us today. Thank you so much for your feedback and comments. We appreciate sana sana sana. Now, today we've taken a real journey, a real safari. Mali tuko panaitwa Il Pole. Doldol. <laughs> this is uh, North Lycipia. Yes, we've done this for you. You've requested for this man. This is uh, one gentleman who had wished to be a Moran but ended up bringing order in the House of Representatives. This is the story, the hadithi. Yamze Francis Ole Caparo. Owen, Owen. Owen, I understand, means come. <laughs> come with me. Yes, sir. Ube kuja aje. Give me till it. How are you? That's a fine thing. Very good, son. Good to see you. Yeah, nice That's to see you, too. Beautiful place. I've been place. waiting for too long. Ah, pole sana. Hii parabara ya kutoka sasa na nyuki mpaka hapa. Si wambia serikali hiko watu wanaisha hapa waweka lami. <laughs> Tuta wambia. Hama serikali ya ina masikio. <laughs> Kama waku kusikia. Hapa <laughs> watasikia. Yeah. So what's the name hapa? What's the name of this place? Hapa na hito kimanju. Hapa ni kimanju. Ah. Beautiful place. Yeah. Lagini ni headquarter ya ukami. Yeah. <laughs> Kuliko ukambani? Kuliko ukambani. Nimeona gazel. Yeah. Ni gazel, swara. Hapa kuna nyama wengi sana. Hakuna aina mnyama amna. Yeah. Simba. Hata simba. Yeah, chui. Yeah. Dofu. Yes. Everything is here. Na wanakuja mpaka hapa kwa ku? Kwa bongo. Hata leo walikula uh, fisi walikula mbusi hapa tumichaka. Mbuzi yako? Eh. Yeah. Pole sana. Kwa hivyo hakuna mbuzi tunakula leo? Ilibaki sasa. Sasa sasa. Aiku balisa yote. Eh. Ilibaki sasa kiasi. Eh. Yeah. Asante sana kwa yeah. kunikaribisha. Karibuni. Hapa dulizaliwa? Uh, Pana kama kilomita kumi north of ya. Mwisha ya laikipia. Yes. Mali tunashikana na isiolo. Yes. Ndiyo mimi nilizaliwa kule. Uh-huh. Pana ituwa juko? Na ituwa tiyama mtu. Tiyama mtu. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> na uka jipataje? Na I just want to take me through kidogo. Then masubu ulijipataje shule. And then they have been one of the top wakilis Kenya isha wa ikupata. Sasa unajua? Yeah. Wakati wetu hapa hamna shule, haikuweko na shule. Yes. Yaani wakoloni waliamua wamasai hawatakaa laikipia. Yeah. Kwa hivyo hakuna haja ya kupoteza mali kutengeneza shule. Mm. Walikaa hivyo, mm. sisi ndio wa kwanza kwenda. Tulianza tu wakati wasungu walijua yeah. uhuru unakuja. Yeah. Yaani 59 ndio shule ya kwanza. Yes. Katika tarafa hii ilikuwa ya Wamasai. Yes. Hapa tu peke yake ndio kulikuwa na Waafrika yeah. kabla uhuru. Yeah. Hapa ali nyingine yote la kipa mzima ilikuwa wasungu. Wewe? Yeah. 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 Waliamua 59 akwamba sasa uhuru itakuja. Yes. Aje tu wapeleke tu hao wa jamaa tu wafungulie shule. So mliendaje wote? Tulipelekwa na polisi ile walikuwa naitwa tribal police. Yes. Sasa ndio AP. Yes. Na wao walikuwa naitwa TP. <laughs> tribal police. Yes. Hawa ndiyo walitupeleka bwana. Eh, hey, mlichukuliwa wapi? Manyata kwa nyumba. Eh. Yeah. By force. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, lakini hatukua tunajua tunaenda kufanya nini. Eh. Yes. Kwa sasa ya kujua shule ni nini? Eh. Yeah. Sisi wenyewe hatujui shule ni nini. Yeah. Hata wale polisi walikuwa wanatupeleka hawajui <laughs> shule ni nini. Lakini tulianza tu nyumba lele. <laughs> kutafanya nini? Kwa <laughs> imeamuliwa unaenda? Eh unaenda. Si unaenda tu. Eh. Mm. Kuvika huko ilikuwa namna gani? Haikuwa headmaster anafanya interview. Yes. Alikuwa DO. Yes. Weupe. Eh, hey. mzungu. Mzungu tu nafikiri kwa mafisa yote wakati huo tumeupe. Yeah. Na interview interview peke yake tulifanya ni kuleta mkono hii kushika sikio hii umefaulu. <laughs> Wewe ulishika? Of course. Ikafika. Kama, kama sikushika eh. zingeenda. Eh. Eh. Kuna watu walirepeat kwa sababu hiyo. Hamna kwa sababu unajua tulikuwa tunatolewa kwa division mzima. Yeah. Jumla yeah. walileta vijana mm. wa wa fulana yeah. ambao 
walikoma kiasi yeah. kwa sababu hakuna wasichana waliletwa shule hey. uh, wakati wetu mm. wale tulikuta kwana nao shule mm. ni wale wanaishi center ya doldo mm. pale doldo wa, wafanyi biashara mm. wa, si wao sawa sawa ndio ndio peke yao wasichana lakini wasichana kama sasa hakuna hata mmoja alipelekwa siku hiyo shule hamna leana au fulana and for a very long time for quite a while not for a very long time for mm. quite a while mm. tulienda tukiwa 40 miaka saba baadaye tulikuwa tisa we mimi sikufanya mtihani <laughs> ili hapa kwanza nani anajua hiyo mtihani ilikuwa nini <laughs> <laughs> lakini ile kitu nilifanya nisifanye mtihani yeah. just a few days kabla yeah. muda mfupi tu karibu tufanye mtihani ya yeah. standard 7 mm. uh, shifta waliua watu wetu wengi siku moja mm. watu saidi ya 60 mm. wow. one day uh, na familia yangu pia walikuweko mm. kati yao waliuawa asa kwa sababu hiyo mimi nili nile hapa shule mm. wenda kuwatafuta pale wako mm. and lala msitundi siku kadhaa ndio nifike kule samburu ndio walikuwa wali, wali cross river kwenda mm. county ya samburu mm. uh, kitambo ni rudi mtiani ilifanyika But, lakini kila mtu alianguka ni hata mimi nirudi shule tu sikujua kama kuna limitation. Yes. Yaani shule ni kwenda. Mm. Eh, sikusema wewe mmefunguliwa au unaenda? Sasa <laughs> nilipoenda naambiwa mtihani ilifanywa wewe yeah. ukufanya. Mm. Lakini niliruhusiwa tu nikafanya. Mwaka ujao ndio. Yeah. Ndio nilifaulu kwenda yeah. secondary school. Mm. And where was that? Nanyuki High School. Nanyuki High School. Ilikuwa mpya. Yeah. So only three years old. Yeah. Brand new and you school ikuwa na viva yeah ikuwa na stream sita yeah na tulikuwa na madarasa manne tu yes. na mna dormitory hakuna dining hall yeah. hakuna nyumba ya walimu ilikuwa nasare ya wazungu yeah. kwa sababu sipo sawa na wazungu wameondoka yeah. ile nasare ya school yao wakapindua waka ikawa high school ikawa high school mm. ah tunalala wengine wanalala kuna kuna pali beyond the army discarded uh, military barrack yes wengine wanalala bekari ilikombolewa na shule yeah. kwa na nyuki town mm. wengine wanalala nyumba ilikuwa ya mwalimu mkuu yes wa shule hiyo hivyo yeah. hivyo that was when that was 67 67 so we already got kuna kumbuka 67 sasa sinaiona kwa maktaba. Yeah. <laughs> Tumeshapata independence already. Sili juzi tu. Eh juzi. Yeah. <laughs> 67. Yeah. <laughs> How was your experience up in Nyuki High School? Nyuki ilikuwa very interesting. Unajua mm-hmm. mara ya kwanza umekuja umepata umepatana na fulana kutoka jamii tofauti. Yes. Darasa letu ilikuwa 105. Mm-hmm. Na tulikuwa na kabila 29. Wow kwa darasa hiyo moja you came to learn different ethnic communities at that age mm. young age mm-hmm. and you became friends mm. and this disease of ethnicity mm. if that kind of education continued mm. would not be crying now mm. every now and often because of tribalism it would have died mm. unfortunately of course as more school, schools grew up yeah. as policy changed mm. then we localized everything mm. so when the mugu mazaliwa ukambani yeah kijiji fulani ya ukambani yes wewe well, utasomea hapo yeah. primary nursery mm. secondary yeah. utaoa hapo hapo <laughs> na utakufa hapa hapo sasa <laughs> ujui hata ulimwengu kama hii unafikiri ukisikia wabasai ni watu wa kuuana <laughs> mbe pengine na watu wa marafiki. Yes. Usikieni wa kikuu unafikiri wako na pembe. Yeah. Kumbe hawana. Na sasa girls mlikuja kupatana wakati gani? Like hivi haikuwa na secondary school ya wasichana wakati huo. Eh. Yeah. Walikuja kufungua moja iko nyeri lakini karibu na nyeki tao. Yeah. Uh, karibu tumalize. Eh. Yeah. Kwa form 4. Mm. Alafu kuna nyingine nyahuru. 
were mixed. So you never had a girlfriend in high school? Yes, sir. Eh? Wako wapi? Eh? Wako wapi? Eh? Wako wapi? Eh? Wako wapi? Eh? 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 Hiyo kazi ndiyo iliwapeleka kule. Ah, kuna kazi nyingine. Eh, ukija kwenu nyumbani, hapa ndiyo utajishughulikia. Lakini pia wakati hiyo ilikuwa ngumu unajua. That time this was a close area district. Yes. Haunge kukabaliwa kuja tarafa hii ikiwa wewe si mwenyeji. Kama unataka kuja unaenda kwa DC, unapata permit ndiyo urudi. Na kama wewe ni mwenyeji hapa unataka kwenda inje ya tarafa yes. unachukua permit yes. ndio una una usiwa kupita hiyo hiyo bali na hizo polisi mlipita hiyo yes. tu nyumba ya polisi yes. hizo ndio ilikuwa anashughulikia nani anaingia nani anatoka eh hey, pale hivi kabla ile mawe kubwa eh yeah. yeah. asa hata sisi tukienda secondary school yes mpaka upewe kibali ya kwenda na nyuki yes na ukitoka na nyuki ukuja nyumbani unapewa kibali na ni mbali sana. Ili 69 by the way. Mm. That's when uh, the law was re, uh, repealed. Yes. Close area districts are. Y- yes. Yeah. How are you making because kama kutoka hapa mpaka kwa bara over 60 kilometers. Tunaenda miguu. Miguu? Eh yeah, mpaka ile pole ndio utafuta kulikuwa na land rover moja tu inaendaga na nyuki. Ebo ni hapo kuna nini police station? Eh yeah, Pol- police barrier hiyo. All this place mpaka huko ni kwako. Hapa tu yeye yeah, kidogo tu. <laughs> By the way, hii little shamba nilipewa yeah. na community zawadi 1972 kwa kupita mtihani ya form 6. Kwa kwanza kufanya Sunday 7 mtihani na ukapita form 4 mtihani. Yes. Form 6 mtihani. Kwa ndio nikapewa zawadi. Uka wewe we kumbuka? Yes. Usianguke mtihani. <laughs> <laughs> Nilipofanya form 4 nilipata division 1. Wah. Congrats. Na nikaitwa Shimolatewa. Yeah. Na zio prison Mombasa. Eh. Wala da wa school. Eh. Business class. Yes. Shilingi 3. Mm. Kwa. Na peni 9. Yes. Ndio tunalipa kutoka Nairobi kwenda Mombasa return. Yes. Kwa. Unaona? Eh. Sasa <laughs> tulienda gari ya Moshi. Yeah. It was an experience. Yes. From Shimolatewa. Mm. I think of what when to do law there are only 35 positions in the law class in Nairobi University yes siku hizo university yeah. see hii public rallies mnaenda yeah. at the class moja iko watu 500 yeah. maximum 35 yes per class mm au au kwa hiyo 35 tatin sisi tulitoka shimolatewa wow the balance of 22 was shared by all other schools in Kenya wow jaurien tulisomeshwa na Willy Mutunga alifuza mimi commercial law Willy Mutunga yes the chief justice yes he was your teacher yes na yeye ako tu wewe ndio ndio muulize eh muulize alisomesha mimi commercial law alafu your family we forgot that bit about your family mama baba wanalala pale eh oh wali 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 lazwa lala old yeah. and your brothers and sisters wengine wako hai wengine wafariki wengine wa Masai atuhesabu watu kama ngombe hata ngombe atuhesabu yes so you don't wako niko na wana na na you are huge family wangu alikuwa na wake sita your father yes na watoto niko na wengi atuhesabu wengi wengi au Kipita hapa tu utasikia makaparo wengi tu hata hawa utahesabu ni hawa hawa tu. <laughs> Na wewe wako? Ngapi? Hapana hesabu. Hapana hesabu. Unafuata baba. Sema <laughs> <laughs> na Kimasai when we come back we'll be right back. Na unaweza sema we'll be right back na Kimasai. Egri nyinyi. Egri nyinyi. <laughs> we'll be right back. Egri nyinyi. Ati? Egri nyinyi. Egri nyinyi. Egri nyinyi. We'll be right back tunarejea. Vile wewe unasema unakaa kama mlefi. Agri agri. Egri nyinyi. Egri nyinyi. Unaona? Sikidwa.
Welcome back. We are right here with Mr. Oda himself, former speaker, Honorable Francis Ole Kaparu, this beautiful, beautiful ranch. I have a mali bado na try kupata jina yake. Inaitwa Kemanjo. Kemanjo. Kuna Kemanjo. North like Kipia. Like Kipia North. Like Kipia North. Ni kama kusema Nairobi University. But that's the University of Nairobi. Ndiyo. Eh, karibu sana. Welcome back. Asante. Na ukia juu ya loo, vile ulikuja ukajipata kwa siyasa. As I said, you were 35. Yeah. 13 of us came from the same school. Yeah. And the balance came from... Everywhere. Everywhere else. Baada ya miaka mitatu, ndiyo tulipata shahada. Lakini tulienda mwaka ingine mzima. Kwa graduate, ndiyo ukubaliwe badai kwa anda pupilage. Yes. Sasa baada hiyo ndiyo tulihitumu kama mawakili na mimi ni kama kwa ofisi yangu ya loo ya loo nyeri kadi maji nyeri niluulizwa na mwelimu wangu wa landlo alikuwa naituwa Dr. Okotho Gendo mimi nilikata kwa ajiriwa nilikata state council nilikata magistrate nilikata kwa ajiriwa na mawakili Hasa nikaamua tu kutengeneza ofisi yangu. Yes. Po niuliza, sasa wewe ukienda kufungua ofisi yako Nyeri, eh. utatoa wapi clients? Eh. <laughs> na huko ni ulimwengu wa wakikuyu. Na wewe ni Masai? Eh. Eka ni muuliza bwana, mm. ni marehemu sasa. Eh. Nauliza swali moja. Eh. Ulinifunza eh. Masai kasoma relo eh. ama ulinifunza sheria? applicable to all Kenyans. Yeah, yeah. I can't even be a give up. Yeah. Go ahead and win. And I, and I went and I opened my office in yeah, Yeri, yeah. teamed up with uh, Judge Waweru, now he's yeah. a judge of the High Court, yeah. created a farm of the Kaparan Waweru Advocates. Yeah. And uh, we had a thriving farm there. My name is Kuo Baguliwa Kapisa. I got clients Wengi. Yeah wale wananchi wa Nyeri hawakujali kabila langu kabisa <laughs> walinipa kazi kulingana na uwezo wangu yeah. kisha baadaye wakaja wakapiga wakashukua kura la like kipya you know they were moving into la like kipya settlement yes na niliwatetea kwa kwa mambo ya mashamba yes. land buying companies among yes. the most corrupt institutions <laughs> That has ever been seen yeah. in Kenya. Yeah. 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 So how did you find yourself? All of us say, Wakili Mashuhuri Nyeri, the farm is being very... Sasa utadu nini kama wewe, wewe criminal law, niyo hiyo. Wewe, I was very good in criminal law. Yeah. Na wakati unaenda kufanya criminal law, it attracts a lot of attention. Nilianza siasa kwa sababu siku moja kwa client wangu Masai alikuja kwangu. Nikasikiza mm. story yake. Mm. Nikaona hii sio shida yeah. ya kisheria hii ni shida ya kisiasa. Ni yeah. approach a local member of parliament then. Yeah. Eh, kuambia story hiyo he brought me aside. Yeah. Nikaambia niongoje tu nitakuja. Nitakuja yeah. kukutoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ndio jaribu mara ya kwanza sikufaulu. Yeah. Mara pili ni faulu. How's that feeling when you fail in an election? It's okay, it's game for me. Let me talk for myself because I don't know about others. For me, there's nothing strange. You know, you go to a, we go to a field to contest. You either win or you lose, and if you lose, life must go on. Yeah. I remember when I lost the election of 1992 because of the DP wave in Laikipia. Yeah. I want to celebrate kachinja ngombe nikaita marafiki na wananchi tukakula. Eh ukwambia eh, umejaribu. Eh nime nimeshindwa. Ngini <laughs> sasa kama, kama nimeshindwa nimeshindwa. Eh. Sasa wacha basi tusherekee tuende ulimwengu tufanye kazi nyingine. Eh. eh. And that's how it ought that's to be. a very positive answer. That's, that's how it ought to be. Yes. Unfortunately it is not like that. Yeah. It's a do and die now. Yeah. More die than do. <laughs> yeah. You must win. You must win. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, and if you can't win, you steal. Yeah. And if you can't steal, you force, you force them. Yes. Yeah. So they need to be a buyer. To be a buyer, like you know, but in buyer, yeah, I couldn't get to the fanya. I couldn't. Inchi me aribika iye tu. Inye me na sikiza politiko meetings ni kiangalia taka kwa YouTube. 
Yeah. Akia Mungu nasikia nataka kufa ama kutapika. Kwanza kina mama. Eh. Wazimu gani imeingia hawa eh. wale wana siasa. Ate wanaenda podium. Eh. And they are talking about sex. Yuzi yuzi mwingine siji ilikuwa kitale. Eh. Ate mtatongosa wanaume wenu hadharani. Eh. You know it's it's horrid. Eh. Mwaje watu kama hawa eh. ndio wanaharibu eh. nafasi ya kina mama kwa uongozi. Eh. Yaani wana, wanafanya like women are sex objects. Yeah. That is the only value they have is sex, mm. which is not true. Yes. Yeah? Mm. And I, I hope somebody just tell them to shut their dirty mouth. There needs to be order. And, and save us that headache and that trouble. Yes. Talking lurid things. In public. And when we were going to zoom say. How can you zoom say? Na you know, gani I don't know. And that's why we're missing you. So, order member. Order. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but then you Kama miss... Yetu, yeah. If a member went and spoke, uh, spoke such immoral things in yeah. public, yeah. we would call him to account. Immediately. Because he's bringing this disgrace to the house and dishonor. Yeah to the house and to himself or herself. Yes. Yeah, tungepeleka kwa power and privileges committee. And we discipline. Make him buy. Eh, tabia mbaya haitakiwi kwa ubunge. Ubunge ni waheshimiwa. Mm. Sasa utaamua mbili. Wewe mheshimiwa na uheshimike. Yeah. Ama wewe mokora yeah. na usiitu mheshimiwa. <laughs> ah, but Ayin... a lot has changed. Ah, wacha tu. Eh? Yeah. Wacha. Yeah. Mheshimiwa Orengo yeah. Orengo yeah. tulikuwa na university by the way. Yes. Alikuwa mwaka mmoja mbele yangu. Orengo was ahead of you. One year, yeah. Na hako tu kijana barubaru bado. Sasa <laughs> unajua hiyo ni tabu yake. Eh. <laughs> jana yake ni yake. Uze wa gudi wangu. Again si si ni marafiki. Ah, that's very yeah, nice. We did, we did uh, yeah. We did good 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 job in parliament together. Yeah. He helped me to sharpen my brain. Yeah. At some stage we Jo- we won the joint award yeah. of the jurist of the year. Yes. Any top lawyer. Yes. Kwa sababu ya ile mambo tulikuwa tunafanya bunge na yeye. And how did you meet Moi? Moi. Eh, mheshimiwa. Eh, hiyo ndio ngumu. Moi, nilikwambia nilikuwa wakili Nyeri. Yes. Na nilikuwa na wakilisha maskini wale members wa uh, land buying companies yes sasa nilianda kotini jaribu kotini eh. kesi ya isongi eh. wala wa sangina wanapotesa bure eh. na jaribu provincial administration eh. hawasaidi eh. sasa ni kawa frustrated sasa nikaanza kuandika petitions yes <laughs> kwa niaba ya raia eh. andike hata pc eh. Yeah, I mean, so I didn't even know where to take it. <laughs> Somehow, I sent the letter through the post office. So I was in the end. As we moved to the Tafuto and DC, Nyeri. Was it, was it DC or PC? Musila? Yes. Who became finally my deputy also? Yes. 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 And he kind of can release uh, what's the problem in this land and things like that. Come well, as I finally set up uh, a, com- uh, a land commission. Yeah. Then I moved. Yes, Na, Mambo, he got. I got up. <laughs> yeah. And the first multi party parliament. The first multi party parliament was the parliament of all time, I can tell you. Yeah. Prior to the election of 1992, mm. there was vicious, violent mm. political competition in Kenya. <laughs> uh, to the extent that it was uh, dangerous mm. to drive in a government vehicle in Nairobi, you would be burnt. It was tense. The difference was very, very small. I think it was tough. Yes. And you were majority as a Rikali, or was a young Kuavit with Kumina Wili. Natulikuan Akela Mutu and Bio Aligilikana Kenya Kwa Parliament. Yes. 
nilikuwa na Raila na baba yake Jaramogi. Eh. <laughs> Mara ya kwanza nilikuwa speaker. Yes. Raila na Jaramogi walikuweko. Eh. Wewe shikuku na ndugu yake Oyondi. Eh. Sasa wale wote mlikuwa mnaita young tax. Eh. Ma professor anyang nyongo siju muite siju ya nyona siju murungi bandili ngine kina madhakaru the lot yes walikuweko na wote walikuwa opposition eh we wale ile ilikuwa moto moto bungeni pale alafu eh and you did very well i had to do well yes who told you nilitoka pale ngumu kama hii kwenda Nairobi nifukuzwe na watu kwa sababu siwezi Ndiyo liwaambia oda ndio eh mtagubali tu sana mtadu eh na mimi ndio iko hapa na mimi ndio iko in charge na hakuna mali unaenda hakuna mali unaenda they respected me finally you know there was quite a bit of hostility initially that uh, we came to understand each other there is a law they are standing orders and the people know when there is justice and when there is not when i was first elected at the age of 42 yes. unafikiri nilizaliwa nikiwa mzee <laughs> <laughs> i was elected the speaker at the age of 42 the youngest in the commonwealth then yes can we liko as i say you i told you you got a 51% of mm. the vote yes. mara tatu eh do na rudia vita wa do opposition na pia line moja kama usi mengisa kwa shimo hawakatiki kanu ni hivyo hivyo i went through three rounds yeah ndio ni kawin na hivyo hivyo kunitoa haiko raisi eh walienda round hizo tatu pia kaka ni shinda na kurambi ile marende marende eh ilikuwa kinyang'anyiri haiko raisi lakini finally the next election 1998 sasa nilipata 78% yes opposition wengi walinipa eh election ya tatu eh nilikosa kule mbili bunge mzima eh yagatabaki siji na nani eh all right eh no hard feelings no hard feelings eh nikapata 99. i think 0.8% i joy you nakat i joy you go nakat sasa hii nyingine si nilitoka nilitolewa sasa eh, mimi niko hapa nimekufa waelezeni wana siasa there is life after politics yes. don't kill kenyans because so you have lost an election yeah, yeah. there is life after. there is life after election what do you do like now this life after politics mimi eh, kazi yangu ni kushunga tu nashunga watu nashunga ngombe nashunga mm. wanyama wa pori mm. Hata ukitaka ni kushunga ta kushunga. Sasa hiyo ndio kazi yangu ya kushunga shunga tu. Sawa. Ndogo awe usiende bado naka na former speaker of Francis Ole Kaparo. We'll be right back. Siende. We'll be right here. Naendelea kujifunza kimasai. And I have some three questions for him lazima tujibu. Sasa kuna watu maswali rais tunaulizaga utakupatia yeah. option moja ama mbili. Yeah. Usiwe for example uh, Manchester United ama Arsenal. Inafanya nini? <laughs> Sizo ni football teams. Yeah. Una una watch mpira. Zamani. Zamani. Nilikuwa napendelea Arsenal wakati ile. Eh. Yeah. So wewe ni mtu wa Arsenal. Used to be. Yeah, used to be. Yeah. Alafu kajitoa. Uh, Machozi likuja mikawa mingi. Sasa unajua sasa hapa <laughs> kuna ma TV hata hata time ya kuangalia hii mpira ndio <laughs> sio so korosa faida yake ni. Sasa wewe unakasirika bwana ni wazungu wanacheza kwao <laughs> na wewe huko unakasirika. <laughs> wewe mshenzi aji. <laughs> Sasa wale kama tunakosana kwa sababu ya Gormaia na FC. <laughs> Niko na wewe hapo bale. Haya, hiyo ni ya kwanza. Yeah. Sasa <laughs> kotini, who yeah. do you prefer to represent you in court? Kama ungeenda Orengo ama Mukome? Sikiza. <laughs> I'm not I'm not likely to go to court. <laughs> in in Sija hii mali ya mtu. Si semi. Hiyo una kusema A eh, ama B. <laughs> Ungesema an in a likely eh, situation. Sio asio hitafanyika. Wewe yeah. huko hapo. Yeah. Ungechagua nani? Orengo ama Mukome? None of the above. None of the above. 
ya iko. Nataka watu ni wana siasa. Eh. Mimi sitaki shughuli ya ya sheria ingizwe siasa. Ningataka professional lawyer, not a prof. A quasi lawyer politician. Okay. Kamani wakati wote by the way. Eh. Ukiwa na mamlaka yes with practice law and you need yeah when i became assistant yeah. minister uh -huh. you couldn't practice law yeah. because there's something called undue influence yes yeah where we go assistant minister mzima unaenda kwa magistrate yeah. maybe class 3 yeah. eh yeah. at sasa unamstusha ile magistrate bwana yeah. alafu sasa unapata judgment sio kwa sababu unastahili eh. ni kwa sababu ya mamlaka yako eh. haikuweko wakati huo haikuwa wakati haikuweko hata eh. sasa eh. wale maseneta wanaenda yes. kwa majisiri tama kutini eh. hawa hawa ndio wana vote pesa kwa judiciary okay. whoever blows the pipe yes. controls the music yes sasa wale wanaotoa pesa eh uwapatia judiciary hiyo e. kwa nini wasi dictate wimbo vile itaimbwa bas ya yeah? <laughs> ingekuwa ingekuwa jambo la busara yes kama wale watu wote wako na mamlaka mm. ya kushawishi yes wasiende wakawa watetesi kotini ama wachague tu mm. wachague tu bage kotini yeah kwa lawyers na kaibu eh. ama wao wa, watetezi eh. waende wafanyie raia eh. kazi ile walichagua kufanya eh. kwa sababu among the things uh, that you employ to do as an MP yes. is not going to go to enrich yourself hiyo yeah. ni mshahara kando unapata eh yeah. 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 sio haki sio haki eh yeah. na nini lakini shauri yao <laughs> what do atadu <laughs> haya swali ya mwisho sasa ndio uh, tuende shule kuna uh, shule tuna inaitwaje uh, kimanjo kimanjo kabla uh, tuende kimanjo uh, <laughs> unapendelea kula nyama ya nini ya mbuzi ama ngombe yote <laughs> no chakula moja si yote ni yangu <laughs> <laughs> kama leo tunakula ya nini ya mbuzi ya mbuzi uh, haya basi ni ya mbuzi ndio umechagua uh, uh, sasa tuende inaitwaje shule Kimanjo. Kimanjo. All right, that was it. We're going to school uh, to talk to the students, uh, to Tambia his hobby, and then of course Badet Trakula uh, Nyama. All right. Thank mm. you so much for watching Chacho Show. See you next week for another exciting episode. All right. So, in your free time, what do you love doing, like hobby? Hobby, the chess are you? I was there. I also take my time to to do whatever I can, some reconciliation on, 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 on community matters. Yes. But I also love cattle. I love cattle. Cattle, yes, yes. So the Kwapaka Huku? The Wamehama. The Wuya Ukame. Kona Mashamba Mengine, Pandil Engine. Yeah. Zingine ni me kumbalisha mashamba ingine. So I spend my time. Yes. And music? Music ya ni sasa. Kuna music tana na left. Music. I kwa music tana? Kenya. Ilisha. Ilisha. Uli uli Malaysia na igadi. Kurema. Sasa i music ya squeezy. Ni music kweli. Ama ni muziki kwa wenyewe. <laughs> kwa wenyewe. Kine, sasa unajua wenyewe wanaifahamu yeah. na wana, wanafurahia. Yeah. Lakini si ambayo sio wenyewe. <laughs> Hatuni kama ni muziki. <laughs> Tulibaki na gani? Which was yeah. your favorite back then? Eh? Back then. Long time ago. I wasn't I wasn't a party man by the way. Yeah. I, I was not. I really I loved listening to country music yeah. and also Congolese. Kenny Rogers. Kenny Rogers, yeah. Mm. Johnny Nash. Yeah. Yeah. Roger Whittaker. Yeah. Oh, and this Kenya. Yeah. Mm. Awa.
Niko na 500 hapa. Nimepewa na na my my manager ni. Yeah. Nani anataka? Nani anataka? Yeah, 500 unaweza nua nini na nini na nini unaweza nua sabuni si ndio? So nani anataka 500? Naye ataka 500. Haya. 500 unaweza nua mkate, ukanua sabuni, ukafaa nini nini nini. Ni 1 2 3 4 They are new. Naye ataka 500. So naye ataka 500. Nani ataka 500? Na unataka? Chukua. Chukua. Mpige makofi ni zake. That's it. That's what happens in life. How much do you need it? You want success, you go for it. You don't sit and say nataka success, go for it. <laughs> so you know what I thought? I thought to kimaliza form 4. Eh? Hivyo tu tuna bounce, hivyo tunafanya shule, tutaendelea hivyo tena after form 4. Some of my friends have never seen them for the years tumekuwa hapa. We together. Listen to this. Sema I'm on my own path. Sema mimi. mimi. Mention your name, mimi. mimi. I'm on my own path. I need to shape my own destiny. Niko peke yangu. Sema niko peke yangu. Kwa hii safari. Mungu nisaidie. Nifike. Mimi niliambiwa na huyu bwana, huyu dambuki huyu anakuja kunitembelea mimi huko ulimwengu gani nikamwambia niko Kimanjo Kimanjo iko wapi naambia iko Kenya nitakujaje huko nikamwambia na gari si ndio huyu bali kujaje